Okay, so AP Calculus AB, what I hope to show you in this video is how to use your calculator in a really cool way on the AP Calculus AB exam, the multiple choice calculator section. So let's use this as a sample question, and the question would be, would give us that f of x is equal to arc sine of x, and that g of x is the inverse of f of x, and we, would be, we could be asked to find g prime at zero. So there are lots of ways to do this, but with this calculator, I think this might be a really cool way to do this. So if you don't mind, let's, let's look at this. So just going to jump into your calculator. So for you, from here, right, you just hit menu. When you hit menu, I'm sorry, uh, you'd hit actually home. When you hit home, it would give you all these choices, and I'm saying I'm going to choose calculator. So here's calculator. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put in that function arc sine of x, all right? And then I'm going to save it by hitting control store right here. I'm going to define this as f of x. And you can see it's already bold in my calculus. I've already done this problem, so it's already sitting there, but I'm just redoing it. So it should say done. Now, of course, it rewrote arc sine this way, right? But we know that arc sine is the inverse of sine, so there that is, right? Now what I want to do is this. I want to find out what is the inverse of this. And the answer is obvious, but look. So let's put solve, right? Solve f of y, right? Because when you look for an inverse, you, take, you switch the range in domain, right? So that's all I'm doing here. Sorry. Is equal to x, right? Is equal to x, comma. When you put the comma in for your, in your calculator, when you're doing the solve function, it means in terms of, and we want it in terms of y. So it gives us back, and it gives us, gives us this thing back here, OK? So, so far, so good, I think, all right? And now what we want to know is, because it defined this for us, we want to know what is the first derivative of sine, right? So this should be really obvious here. I just wanted to show you how it came about it. Calculus, all right, I went to menu, calculus, derivative, dy, I'm sorry, ddx of sine x. And of course, we know what we're going to get here. But this won't always be this simple. So there it is, cosine x. And then it says, right, right, so now we know that this is our derivative, isn't it? And we want cosine of 0, don't we? Is equal to 1, and that would be our answer, wouldn't it? OK, I'm going to do other problems like this. So I want to do a really simple one first so you could see why I was using the technique that I was using. And hopefully it's helpful to you. So your comments are, are more than welcome, and please subscribe.